Okay, today we changing uh, brake master cylinder in uh, E36 with upgraded uh, brakes. We changing uh, brake master cylinder for M3 version. So I will try to this quick because I don't have time. <laughs> so what we'll do first, we disconnect the uh, power uh, level sensor. So. We have to. We actually don't have to, but better. We shove some cloths just in case we leak brake fluid. And we see what kind of. We got some cloths, we got new cylinder, we take the sensor off and we'll suck uh, all fluid to mil minim minimalize mess. Min 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 oh. Oh. So you don't make a mess? Yes. So we got the brake bleeding tool here. get all fluid out because clutch feed uh. is on a separate part and it's only filling when it's above maximum so that's the design of uh, uh. of uh, BMW so they got brake fluid and the clutch fluid kind of in one tank but separate se separate yeah so now let's see okay so that looks like there's no any hidden bolts I know that freeze got big bolt Alan key bolt, so that's even easier. So what I will do now, I just take this pipe off and pull that. I get a screwdriver. I added a clip here. That's a or oh, it will work. That's only usually just push in because there's no pressure. It's just fit for a, a clutch a master cylinder. But I added we clip just to be on safe side. For racing. For racing basically. Yeah. I don't have a proper tool so just use long nose pliers and try get the best hose. Maybe just twist it. I tell you what I will do. I try to pull it up and then I grab another cloth. I try to pull it up oh, and that's so now. Off. Now I will try to twist and get this pipe out. I'm not changing tank, mm -hmm. so I don't want to break it. Maybe it's safer actually. Maybe close that tank. When I putting this upside down, I don't know. There is okay. Just pull this up. Okay, I got it out. Or it's a bit mess, but it's not too not too bad. Much. So I also hoping I don't have to bleed, so I keep lines up uh. and fluid in them. I just hope if I have to, I I will do it. Ben, she's shouting you. 
And that uh, just continuing. Okay. So I will disconnect the brake pipes now. Uh, so I got. Oh. I got proper brake pipe. Spanner. Spanner, but it's rusty. So that's mean. Been used for that. Okay, this one is bigger. So let's let's undo that section. One is uh, rear, one is front. Obviously, nothing fancy about it. So. And same here. What I will do? I will pull it back and keep it up. And that's 13 mil. That one. That's a front section. Aye, but what size? Uh, 13. So 13, 11. That's it, really. Okay, same. And put it up. Now we got two 13s here. I can actually undo them by spanner. I don't need any special tool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Definitely me. Are you tightened up? Yes. So they um, over tighten ten times. Safety first. Oh Jesus! Okay. Oh, that's it. So. So if I remember right, that's the last nut, that should come out nicely. Let's try. We we go. Oh. oh, that's it. Oh, yes. Is it? Yeah, that's vacuum. So that means servo holding vacuum very well. Okay, that's it, guys. So we got, well, we got old one out. I put with extra silicone. So come over to the bench, Ronnie. We'll open that and also swap because and compare them side to side. So that's new one. So let's see. It looks very similar. Maybe body is slightly bulkier. Yeah. yeah. Probably is saying looking at the back. Yeah. So that's uh, far as I remember. Difference is actually piston inside in uh, 2.8 is 30. Oh, we got pr first problem, guys. So that won't be done straight today because it's different, different. size size of the uh, pipes. Different threads. Different threads. So I will have to flare the pipe. I got tool anyway, so. Mm -hmm. But I made uh, do this video in two parts, so at least we we know. Yeah. So I blank old one. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just tighter. But that's definitely different size, so I have to modify the front section for uh, basically different end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll back to you guys when I'll do that pipe, get this pipe sorted.